now we learn about drawing slab so to do it simply click here must you have to stay in geometry then floor then we have four three option one is contour second is rectangle and third is circle okay and from here the model which types of model will create one way loads take down slab two way or deck slab on a curtain slab slab rigid diaphragm or shell so simply i'll consider the shell shell then here the thickness of your slab what will be the thickness of your slab here pretty default on slab is defined it i'll click here you'll see this slab thickness is 12 inch so let's say we'll create a new slab e 5 inch and here i'll provide 5 inch okay and they have some option variable along line variable on plane so if you use this option you can create a slab whose thickness will be different then if you use uh, this option variable on plane then you will be able to create a slab which every side thickness is different okay but i will use this option constant slab thickness and its thickness will be 5 inch and they have option reduction of the moment of inertia okay so if you click here you can provide here the value of moment of inertia so normally for this types of slab our uh, property modifier will be one you can click here for more values okay here I'll click here now uh, this is the way to do and if, if you go this is the homogeneous and if you go uh, orthographic then you can uh, also remodify your slab as per your requirement okay now i'll go for homogeneous then uh, it will be one also i'll uncheck it no need to provide any modifier and they have another option that is parameters of foundation elasticity so if you are using if you are using this element as a foundation element then you can use this option but right now i will not use this option we'll go for later close then uncheck and materials color you can uh, sorry materials concrete so uh, as we have defined f prime c equal to 2.8 we can use this option and as per your requirement you can define the materials okay so when everything is okay simply click add then close and if you come here you will see this is the slab and uh, i'll use the rectangular option to draw a slab first so i'll click here i'll click here and i'll click here when we'll click on three point a slab will be created simply click any three point and it will give you a rectangular slab and three point should be uh, like 90 degree here okay so this is the way to create a rectangular slab now if we go for another types of slab like contour slab okay so here you can create the multiple point for a slab sometimes we need a irregular shape of slab like click click here then click the second point then click here then click uh, here okay and simply click apply see a irregular shape of slab will be created so click here 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 and then apply a triangular shape of slab have been created okay 
so this is the way to create any slab any types of slab you need then if we go for circle okay if we go for circle to create a circular slab you have to point up three point for that slab that means three connecting point okay so uh, to do it let's say i'll go for this portion here another portion and here you can see a circle slab have been created okay if i click here then if i click here and if i click uh, let's say uh, here a new slab have been created so in this way we are able to create any types of slab and sometimes we need to create uh, another slab with uh, uh, we need to create some slab with um, uh, slope then we'll use this option we'll uncheck this option horizontal slab and then we'll create slab with slope how uh, we'll show you in our next any of our next lecture where we when we'll create our staircase okay. so thank you thank you very much now we'll create some opening okay sometimes we need to create opening on our slab or on our any member or wall so how we'll do it to do it click here for opening and they have many option one is rectangular another is circular and another is contour okay so one by one we learn about all topic so let's say first of all we'll create a opening of a rectangular shape then uh, to create an opening we have to provide the size of our opening so let's say our uh, opening will be two feet by two feet okay two feet by two feet and uh, they have some option okay i will show you about that later now where you want to create opening let's say first of all you have to provide the reference point so i will zoom it so you have to provide first reference point okay here intersection parameter reference points click here and then click here so this is the reference now where we want to create our offset we have to provide it so let's say uh, i want to create a opening after five feet in x direction and four feet in sorry six feet in y direction then you can simply click here to do it but sometimes uh, this point are showing an exact value three feet two feet four feet like that but if you need to create a opening after let's say after 1.25 feet and 2.5 feet click apply and it will give you a opening at exact location okay so this is the way to create a rectangular opening now i'll escape sorry i'll skip again i'll come here and if i go for circular opening then simply you have to provide the diameter of circle so let's say i'll create an opening for uh, three feet diameter okay then i'll okay on that slab i will create this opening and simply click here to provide the reference point then i will click this point as a reference point okay then where i want to create same as previous if you want to create after four feet and after uh, six feet okay and this is the this is actually the uh, corner point of this circular opening okay now if i go here let's say i want to create an opening after 4.5 and uh, sorry 4 feet and 5.5 feet in x it will be 4 feet and in y it will be 5.5 feet okay so to do it exactly when you uh, move mouse it will move so i'll provide the exact value 
so in x direction it will be 4 feet and x y direction it will be 5.5 feet then apply see how easy in this way we are able to create our rectangular and circular opening now we'll go for contour opening okay so to create a contour opening i will uncheck it let's i'll go here first of all we'll provide the uh i'll click here i'll provide the reference point this is the reference point okay and where from where you want to start and here you have to provide the contour okay by clicking here you are able to create the exact contour the, or by using polyline by using line so i'll use contour then i'll apply Mm -hmm. let's say here apply see in this way we are able to create contour in any point with any shape simply click here here and here and then click apply see so this is the way to create a contour point or any contouring opening on our slab as per our requirement i hope uh, you'll be able to create opening perfectly and also if you have any confusion or any problem then let us know now we we'll learn to create all on our structure so to create all click here you will get a option like walls click here and here is the all option now to create all first of all we have to provide the thickness okay so our predefined thickness was five inch so i'll consider that uh, this five inch thickness so um, as we have defined this all thickness in our slab by clicking here you can uh, define your thickness as previous okay so i'll not use i'll just close then height what will be the height of your wall okay the two option down and up okay so as we are in six feet away okay above six feet from the base that's why it's showing the height six feet now let's say i will go to 16 feet away here and you can see our total height are showing for 10 feet why from our first floor to second floor okay or uh, of uh, first floor to gf if you provide a 16 16 a all will be created a all will be created till down floor or till base okay so and from here select the thickness and take your mouse here and give a beginning point from where you want to start let's say i want to start from here i'll just click here then in point just go here and click see they all have been created and as here drag option is selected that's why they all will be continuously created just simply click then click and all will be created like that now if you want to remove your this command just simply click drag option and it will okay and now let's say here i want to create a wall let's click here and click here okay and again if you want to start from this point simply click drag and it will follow your previous last point this is the way to create our wall then i'll click close and if you go to view you will see a wall have been created from this point to this point see okay
Okay, so this was the way to uh, show our model. This is the way to create wall perfectly. And they have another option. They have another option core walls. So if I click this option, now color auto, then uh, local direction, it's okay. And select this three all and see all from this point to this point have been added and now if you want or if you list this three all as a coral you simply click add a core all have been created from this point to this point okay and close it now if you click if you come here if you come here if you come here you will see this is the eats of a coral okay this is our coral actually when we'll provide lift core or any other things then we have to use that option as a coral okay so uh, this is the way to uh, create our complete core all say they have a distance of 10 to 20 feet and if you want to uh, change this number of grid size between 10 to 20 then how we'll do it actually to do it i'll go view then go to grid and grid a step definition i'll click here and here you will see after five to five or after this uh, 10 to 20 what will be the distance so here five is given so what is the minimum of five that means between 10 it will divide by 5 so our total number of grid will be 2 and if I give here 2 in x direction then you will see in y direction everything is okay but in x direction is divided into 16 18 like that okay so this is the way actually to do it so again I'll just come here I'll come to 5 uh, sorry I'll come to 10 or 5 then I'll click apply so it will give you a value like 10 15 25 in this way okay so you can change it as per your requirement and in that site it's uh, 5 45 50 it's showing like that so if you use that option grid on off then apply so it will on or off your grid system i'll click okay and 5.00 feet and then apply in both side so as per your requirement you can create it so thank you thank you very much